What has this team of physically fit young athletes got in common with this group of young people? Well, one answer is they both need to think carefully about what food they eat. Today's program is about what we should eat and why. But first, what kind of foods do you like? Fruit, veg, mostly meat. I like pasta and rice. Really unhealthy foods, don't really like fruits and vegetables. Indian food. Italian stuff. At home I normally eat Chinese food because like, my parents come from China so they're not very used to English food. I eat junk food some of the time and then some of the time I eat vegetables. Chocolate. <laughs> I don't eat much fruit. And I eat lots of chocolate and crisps, probably too many. A recent survey shows that these are the types of foods teenagers are eating. They know what foods they should eat as part of a healthy, balanced diet, but often don't put this into practice. I don't think junk food's good for you because there's loads of fat in it and um, it's just basically not healthy. The thing is, the unhealthy things always taste nicer, so that's why people eat more junk food. When I eat junk food, I don't actually think about the thing. I like it. It tastes nice. <laughs> Although most young people look OK and don't feel unwell, a poor diet can result in health problems in the future, and this is what experts are worried about. So, what do you think you need to eat to have a healthy diet? The key to a healthy diet is variety. There are seven main nutrients that your body needs. Carbohydrates, protein, fat, water, fibre, vitamins and minerals. You need a balance of all of these. Then you can be healthy and fit for anything. And these young footballers are putting that theory into practice. They're skillful enough to be on a training scholarship at Liverpool Football Club's academy. The club boasts an impressive track record. Michael Owen, Jamie Carragher and Robbie Fowler have all come through the youth ranks at Liverpool. For those who succeed in making the grade as a professional footballer, the rewards could be massive. But it isn't an easy ride. What do the young players need to make it to the top? To actually make it to the top level, they have to look at their whole lifestyle and what they're actually doing. They can't do no things like teenagers, like with the mixing with their friends and going out all the time. Because at the end of the day, it's big, it's football. And diet, to say, is very important five days a week they actually have their meals here. First-rate training facilities and coaching expertise help improve their football technique. But they don't just learn about football. Mornings are spent in the classroom taking normal lessons. Meanwhile, Di the cook is busy following Julian's guidelines and preparing lunch. My job is to feed the boys and to follow the menu that Julian has made out for the week. They have different things each day of the week. Mostly pasta, chicken, rice, salad, jacket potatoes. But they can't have any chips. In fact, we have a deep fat fryer in the kitchen and it's never used. <laughs> A balanced diet is important for the footballers to give them sufficient energy requirements um, and to give them sufficient protein to allow their normal growth and also the extra muscular development that we would be looking for. And the right but small amount of fats to give them essential fatty acids and the fat soluble vitamins. Apart from those main elements they need uh, of course adequate fluid replacement. Um, we use a lot of water and isotonic fluids for them to maintain their water balance. Not all of these boys will become professional footballers or sportsmen, but we hopefully give them a good basis for which to carry on their normal life and uh, the same principles apply to any individual. So, a balanced diet is important to every teenager. But to get a balanced diet, you need to know which foods contain which nutrients. Take carbohydrates. Why do you need them and where do you get them from?
Uh, you eat carbohydrates to give you energy. You get carbohydrates in pasta, rice and noodles. Um, they give you energy, I think. You'd probably feel very weak if you didn't even have carbohydrates. They're right. Carbohydrates are used for energy. There are two types of carbohydrates, simple and starchy. Simple carbohydrates are the sugars. They're found in anything sweet. Sugar quickly enters the bloodstream as a source of energy. There are natural sugars in fruit. But chocolates, sweets and regular fizzy drinks contain a lot of added sugar. These foods are bad for your teeth and are often low in other nutrients. Starchy carbohydrates are found in foods like rice, pasta, breakfast cereals and breads. They're much better for you than simple carbohydrates. They contain lots of vitamins and minerals and help you feel full for longer. We should be eating roughly a third of all our food from the starchy carbohydrate group. Active people need a lot of energy, which is why the footballer's diet has to be high in starchy carbohydrates. Fat is another important nutrient, but the young players are encouraged to eat a low-fat diet. Why do you think that might be? What do you know about fats? Um, you should always have a, f a few fats in your diet. You shouldn't eat too many fats because you can get overweight and it causes diseases. I think most of them are bad for you. If, you, if the food's got too much saturated fat in it, um, it can make you overweight. You can have heart attacks from it. You still need to eat some fat though, otherwise you'll die. Foods like chips and that um, contain a lot of fat because of the fried in oil. There are two types of fats. Protective fats, found in olive oil and oily fish, and the harmful fats, also known as the saturated fats. These are found in full fat dairy products, and fatty meats. Eating too much fat will not only make you overweight but can contribute to diseases such as heart disease and cancer. So the key with fats is moderation. Another important nutrient is protein. Protein is found in meats, I think. I think it's for growing. We need um, protein to build new cells and muscles. Most protein comes from meat and fish. Protein also comes from beans and dairy products like cheese. A lot of athletes eat protein to help them build muscles. They're right. Protein is used for growth and repair. As a nation, we eat more than enough protein to meet our needs. Even bodybuilders and athletes don't need as much as you might think. Good sources of protein are meat and fish, so vegetarians and people with a restricted diet need to make sure they get protein from other foods like beans, nuts and meat substitutes. I don't eat meat because I'm vegetarian, because I, I don't know, I just chose to be it. I'm vegetarian, so we have sort of corn and stuff um, as an alternative to meat. I'm not allowed to eat uh, ham or uh, pork or anything from the pig because I'm Muslim. I eat most things now but I used to be a vegetarian but I didn't have enough protein in my diet so I started eating meat again. Thing is, if you don't eat meat and fish, you could be missing out on essential vitamins and minerals. So it really is important that you get these from other sources. But how much do you know about which foods contain what? Time to check out your knowledge of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Which of these foods contains the most carbohydrate? 100 grams of cornflakes, 100 grams of cabbage, or 100 grams of cod? Um, 100 grams of cornflakes. Cornflakes is the correct answer. Which of these foods contains the most protein? 100 grams of baked beans, 100 grams of milk, or 100 grams of cauliflower? Um, 100 grams of milk. I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. Milk does contain protein, but baked beans contain more. Which of these foods contains the most saturated fat? 100 grams of olive oil, 100 grams of butter, or 100 grams of low-fat margarine? 100 grams of olive oil. I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is butter. Which of these foods contains the least amount of sugar? 100 grams of cake, 
a hundred grams of chocolate or a hundred grams of wholemeal bread? Um, bread. Wholemeal bread is the correct answer. Which of these foods contains the most fat? A hundred grams of crisps, a hundred grams of whole milk, or a hundred grams of toast? And the hundred grams of milk. I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. Milk contains a small amount of fat, but crisps contain more. Which of these foods contains the least protein? A hundred grams of chicken, a hundred grams of tuna fish, or a hundred grams of potato? I think a hundred grams of potato, please. Correct. Which contains the least amount of starchy carbohydrate here? A hundred grams of rice, a hundred grams of onion, or a hundred grams of spaghetti? A hundred grams of onion. Correct. Which of these snack foods contains the least fat? A hundred grams of crisps, a hundred grams of chocolate, or a hundred grams of microwave popcorn? A hundred grams of microwave popcorn. Correct. With three correct answers, you win today's star prize to be forever remembered in the scientific eye, Hall of Fame. A balanced diet isn't just about carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. There's water, vitamins, minerals, and fiber to consider too. What do you know about fiber? You get fibre in bran and cereals. Fibre is used to keep the food moving around your digestive system. To help digestion. I don't know what it does for you, but I know where it comes from. I think I eat enough fibre, have enough fibre in my diet, because I eat a lot of cereal. And um, I'm not sure how much you need. Research shows that teenagers in general don't eat enough fibre. Fibre helps not only day to day, by helping the digestive system, but it protects you in the long term against heart disease and some kinds of cancer. It's easy to make sure you're getting enough fibre. Great sources include rice, potatoes, whole grain bread and breakfast cereals. Foods rich in fibre also keep you feeling full, and if you're feeling full, there's less chance of snacking on chocolate bars. Next up, minerals. What do you know about minerals in your diet? I think you need quite a few minerals in your diet, and I think you get them from fruit and, well, from fruits. To keep your body healthy and to keep bones and stuff healthy. I know you can definitely be short of minerals. You get a lot of minerals and stuff like fruit and water and veg, and I think minerals are very good for your body. I think iron's a mineral, and you need iron in your body for the blood, is it? Is calcium a mineral? We get minerals from a range of foods, and not just fruits and vegetables. There are lots of different types of minerals, but the key ones in the teenage years are iron and calcium. Calcium is vital for strong, healthy bones, and we know that teenage girls in particular are not consuming enough calcium in their diet. And this can cause problems later on in life with weak or brittle bones. Sources of calcium include dairy products, breads, cereals and pulses. Iron is important too. We need iron to make red blood cells and to carry oxygen around the body. Not enough can result in anemia. Good sources include red meat, fortified breakfast cereals, dried fruit and green leafy vegetables. Not only do breakfast cereals contain minerals, they also contain a whole bundle of vitamins. What do you know about vitamins? You get lots of vitamins from fruits and citrus fruits contain lots of vitamin C. I know there are lots of vitamins beginning with letters like A, B, C, D, etc. Some people with dietary needs take vitamin tablets to supplement what they don't get in food. Some people get vitamin deficiencies because they're not eating certain types of food. I think you get them mainly from fruits and vegetables and stuff that's meant to be healthy for you. There are lots of different types of vitamins and it's better to get these from foods rather than from a vitamin pill. If you're eating a healthy, varied diet, then you're probably getting all the vitamins you need. And finally, water. Your body is two-thirds water, and some bits, like your brain, are 80% water. You can survive without food for several days, but not water. 
Water is essential for not only eliminating toxins from the body, but also to keep the skin, the hair and vital organs healthy. In this country, we're lucky to have a huge variety of foods available in the shops and markets. But how do you know you're getting a balance of all the nutrients you need? Well, one way is to take a closer look at the labels. You might be surprised at how many, or how few, of the seven nutrients are in the food you're eating. To help you remember the balance of foods you should try to have in your diet, you can follow this simple rule of thumb. Imagine different sized delivery trucks represent the different types of foods you should be eating. The foods you should eat most of are fruits and vegetables and starchy carbohydrates. The foods you should eat a moderate amount of are dairy products and foods rich in protein. There should just be a small amount of fat and sugar in your diet. Most people in this country are lucky enough to be able to make choices. Even when you're on a tight budget or eating fast food, there are plenty of ways to make your meals healthier. And that's when I realised the chicken was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, that? This? Yeah, what is it? Oh, they call it uh, fish and chips. Rubbish. What? It's rubbish. Excuse me, have a look at the chips. Yeah. I think you'll find they're filled to the brim with starchy carbohydrates. Have a look at the fish. Yeah. Filled to the brim with protein. It's what gives me me, you know, energy. But it's full of fat. You need your fat. At least I've got some. You've got none at all. Yeah, but I mean, look, that's saturated. Look at it. What happens is a bit much fat. I could maybe lose the batter. Have a look okay. at your meal. Have Whoa. a look. Have yeah. a look. Beautiful. Have a look. Beautiful. What's it missing? Proteins and carbohydrates. Where do you get your energy from? I've got loads of energy. All right, then dance for me. Not now. I'm tired. There you go. Energy loser. Ow. Ah, but. What it has got is vitamins and minerals are plenty. I see them. Do you see them? I see them. A, C and E in particular. Ace. Exactly. <laughs> it's an ace, ace meal for an ace mister. Hang on, hang on, ace on. mister. You're still missing your proteins and your carbohydrates, whereas I'm still missing my vitamins and my minerals. Yeah. I've got it. It's, a, it's a flash of genius. Really? Hang on, pass me your plate. Hey? Pass me it. Okay. Right, I've half my fish. Yeah. I've half my chips. Ooh. Now you've got now what's known Thank in the you. trade as a far more balanced meal. Hey, like it, thank you. Hold your horses. What? I'm left with half a meal and it's a poor one at that. Oh, sorry, do you want Come some on. of this fish? No, bread? I don't want any fish. What, what, what? The green stuff. Ah, I yeah. see what you're doing now with my vitamins and minerals. You have now got what's known in the trade as a far more <laughs> balanced <laughs> meal. <laughs> yeah, you've got it. No, just... a real... Oh, away, calcium. No worry, mate. There's the milk. Uh -huh. It's pasteurised. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we're lacking some iron. Taxi! 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 <laughs>